Hi, my name is Joe. I got the K5E Ethernet cable and fiber optic cable in my hand. They look quite different. The K5E Ethernet cable is made of copper, and the fiber optic cable is made of plastic. Both cables can connect the network between point A and point B. In this video, I'm going to focus on the fiber optic cable and how, see how we can use the fiber optic cable to link two networks. We got one router on the first location and another router on the second location. We can use the Cat 5 year Cat 6 Ethernet cable to connect these two routers together to come up with the network. But this thing is limited to about 300 feet and the bandwidth is limited to about 1 gig. If we need to a longer distance or need, we need to upgrade the bandwidth to 10 gig, the fiber optic cable is the choice. Okay, now let's see how we can use the fiber optic cable to connect these two routers together. You can see the router cannot take in fiber optic cable directly, it only can take in the k 5 or Cat 6 Ethernet cable. So in this case, we will need this media converter. What does this media converter do? It will convert each electronic signal to fiber optic signal. Technically, fiber optic signal is just the light. It's just the light travels through this fiber optic cable. So we need the media converter. And the media converter also needs the power. So we, we got the power adapter provide the power source to this media converter. And this is the one port which output the R345 network port. It will connect, it will link to our router. And from here we can use the media, we can use the fiber optic cable. And here is there's one very important component, it's called SFP transceiver. Let me just remove. Let me remove the SFP transceiver from the media converter. This is the one end of the fiber optic cable. And this is the SFP transceiver. When you order this media converter, actually the SFP, SFP transceiver is not included. The reason is because SFP transceiver determines what kind of fiber optic cable you can use, single mode, multi mode, and what kind of connector you can use. So usually people don't sell the SFP transceiver together with the media converter because they don't know what kind of fiber optic cable you will use in the future. And you also may see there are only one one cable, one fiber optic cable for this SFP transceiver because this transceiver allow us to use the different wavelength to transmit and receive the signal. We don't need to have two fiber optic codes, we just need one. Okay, now let me just put it back. And this is the box to, for fiber optic cable, cable management. There's nothing special, it's just the box with the adapter. And from here, this is soft punch code linking to the media converter to this box. And here we got the Prismic fiber optic cable. This is the Prismic fiber optic cable. The connector is being made in the factory. So we just need to plug and play. We don't need to handle the connector. And let's move here. This is another cable management box. And we also got another media converter. So the fiber optic signal is Right here, it will convert back to the electronic signal and we got the k 5 uk 6 Ethernet cable connect to the another router. You need two media converter. Also, the SFP transceiver and the Prismic fiber optic cable in this case. The SFP transceiver determine what kind of fiber optic cable you can use and what kind of connector you need. Okay, now let's move to the method two. If your switch already have an SFP slot like this one, in this case, we don't need to have the media converter because the media converter already built into this switch. You can just look for the port on the front panel of your switch. Just look for this SFP slot. But you still need to have the, this SFP transceiver. You can see the SFP slot is empty. We cannot connect the fiber optic cable directly to this slot. You still need to install the SFP transceiver so it can work with the fiber optic cable. And just again, the SFP transceiver determine what kind of fiber optic cable you can use and also the connector you can use. And from here, you connect to the cable manager box and there's no change on the second router. We still need to have the media converter to convert the fiber optic signal to electronic signal so you can work with the second router. Okay, now let's just move method three. And in that next method, we can increase the bandwidth by using the fiber optic cable. Now we have replaced the media converter with a fiber optic switch. It's quite similar as the first one. Now we can connect the fiber optic cable from this box to this switch directly. You may need notice we are using two SFP slots. 
Remember, we just need one to transmit, receive the fiber optic signal because it's using different wavelength. Now we are using two. What's the advantage? In this application, we can increase the bandwidth from one gig to two gig. Of course, it needs software supported. This is up to the L2 manager switch. So we can aggregate these two channels, these two ports together to come up with one channel so they work together. If one of the port or the fiber optic cable is down, you still have another running. All right, that's all for today's video. If you have any question, please leave a comment section below. See you next time.